the Clippers have been unable to have a worse season. Since the month began, they've had not just one, but the worst performance they could have had this year. Today, we'll talk about why the Clippers made a mistake by including James Harden. Let's be honest, the Los Angeles Clippers haven't been a team that has been lucky throughout their history, and currently it doesn't seem to be any different. Even their attempts with the Love City project, when they tried to solidify themselves around the 2011 era, weren't a moment of resurgence. It wasn't until 2019 that there was a glimmer of hope with the entry of Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. Their arrival brought hope to the team's fans, if they have any. Now, the odds of becoming a winning team were high. Despite the initial promise, the 2021 season proved to be inconsistent, with ups and downs and injuries affecting the team's performance in the playoffs. The strategy of resting star players like Kawhi Leonard was implemented, but the pandemic and the bubble impacted performance. Despite showing flashes of their potential, the Clippers were eliminated, causing frustration among supporters. In the 2022-23 season, with renewed hopes, the arrival of Russell Westbrook generated hope, and once again, they were humiliated. Yes, the Clippers have had bad luck, but there was a time when they were making an epic comeback. In 2015, they had a 3-1 performance, which was putting them in a great position. After so many years, we find ourselves in a similar situation today, and it's thanks to the acquisition of James Harden. Why do the Clippers currently have a 0-3 streak? Yes, a total defeat, and they're currently fighting not to be disqualified early in the regular season. Although this is just a simple exaggeration. But why is this happening? This is due to their very poor organization, mismanagement of their team, and a terrible addition to it. And this addition is none other than James Harden, who, after much drama and many problems, managed to join the Clippers just a week ago. Well, his addition had been in the works for some time, but the game debut was only recently. So what happened with his entry? Well, honestly, not too well. What seemed like a rigorous decision to desperately want Harden's entry actually turned out to be a problem. The team already has several key figures, including Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, and Russell Westbrook. But clearly, the Clippers were somewhat desperate, and Harden was eager to join to avoid being considered eliminated in the playoffs. Now, what did this cause on the team? The following result, a total of five consecutive losses since James' inclusion. But is it his fault, or is it just coincidence? Well, as we've said, this is the result of poor management and a misguided combination of players, and it shows during every game. Since the debut, albeit a bit delayed, it has caused this outcome. If we analyze the first game, they maintained a somewhat balanced range until the fourth quarter when the New York team started to capitalize on the breaks of this team. Same case in the second, third, and so on until the last, which, yes, we can call the most catastrophic of all. But this happens because James Harden is a very good player, only if he's playing alone, in practice, and with his imagination, because his solo performances have managed to be quite outstanding. He's a good player, and no joke, but is he really useful and necessary? And we're talking about contribution to the team. Is anyone truly useful and necessary? The thing is, since he joined the team, he has brought conflict after conflict, mainly with the player Russell Westbrook. Both are truly incompatible, not made to play on the same court. Why hasn't the coach questioned this? Tyron Liu should do something. Both players fight to take the ball. Does no one notice, or is Liu closing his eyes during the games? This is causing direct chaos in everything that the game means, and no one is coordinating. Yes, they have to wait for the other to take the ball to keep playing. Analyzing the plays, you can observe the power struggle. One of them is when they attempt pick and roll plays, where they force the other to make a pass. Yes, to no one's surprise, it's creating poorly executed plays, turnovers, and scores for the opposing teams. We desperately need changes in the team dynamics. It's evident. Harden, known for his ball-dominant playing style, must adapt to a more collaborative role to achieve effective harmony with Westbrook, Paul George, and Kawhi Leonard. 
However, the resistance of both players to take on secondary roles is creating disasters. And now, the dilemma begins of deciding who to bench between Harden and Westbrook, because one of them has to stop playing. Both are players with solid and huge egos, almost like Donald Trump's, and have been leaders on their previous teams, which obviously causes friction if one of them is relegated to a less prominent role. This situation raises the question of whether the coach has the ability to manage locker room dynamics and balance individuals' needs with the overall well-being of the team. But a quick decision must be made. If he wants to recover the team and improve this, an important thing is that one of them takes a seat. What do you think? Tell us in the comments. Another thing affecting the team is that Kawhi Leonard has been dealing with constant injuries, adding an additional layer of complexity to the situation. The lack of a consistent leader on the court affects the team's chemistry and its ability to develop effective synchronization in the game. This problem is not new for the Clippers, as they've dealt with Leonard's frequent absences, creating uncertainty about the team's stability and coherence. But what do you think? Do you believe that with Leonard, the situation would improve? Or would it be a triple ego battle? And it's with Russell Westbrook that we can appreciate this complexity, as when he was with the Lakers back in 2020, Despite his skills and experience, he faced difficulties integrating effectively into a team led by LeBron James and Anthony Davis. This precedent, if we can use that word, highlights this significant problem. But as much as we talk about these problems, we have to address the solutions. It's already clear that the absence of a leader and the ego of former leaders are creating chaos in the games. One of the two has to take a seat to move forward even if it may result in a possible departure in the future. However, it's preferable to lose one player than two and be humiliated in all future games. In this situation, there are two possible outcomes. One involves James Harden adapting to the Clippers' style, learning to release the ball, and becoming more collaborative to finally create harmony within the team. And why? They just brought in Harden. Benching him would be a waste of talent. In this context, it's best to have him in the game as long as he agrees to become more collaborative. Of course, the challenge is for him to accept this. He would clearly prefer to go solo in a game against the San Antonio Spurs in a one-on-one -on -one duel with Victor Wembanyama, even if he ends up humiliated by the NBA's towering figure. But in a hypothetical scenario, the idea is to achieve integration. From this perspective, it's best to reject this idea, as his ego will not allow it. This leads us to an inevitable option, benching him and keeping Russell Westbrook in the team. Since it doesn't matter how we look at it, these two cannot play together. Even if Russell has been there since the 2022-23 game, he might have better chemistry with his teammates, but that means letting go of the effort and drama that comes with bringing in James. This leads us into a heated debate. Should we bench Russell or James? Meanwhile, another player who should be in the game and increase his involvement is Paul George. Due to his experience and ability, he should take on a more prominent role and a more active participation in the game. His leadership will not only impact the court, but also influence the team culture, providing valuable guidance to ease tensions and facilitate Harden's integration more effectively. We need him more consistently, and the result of the game against the Grizzlies emphasizes the importance of restructuring the team. When Russell Westbrook entered the third quarter, it stood out as a key moment, providing not only a precise assist to Zubak for a crucial point, but also excelling in fast breaks that capitalized on the team's solid defense. While towards the end of the last quarter, Paul George emerges as the undisputed leader on the court, demonstrating his ability to overcome defenders in crucial moments, generating not only opportunities for his own offensive game, but also providing strategic assists benefiting his teammates. His performance during this crucial period highlights the importance of having an experienced and skilled leader in decisive situations. However, things take a problematic turn when, in the final moments, James Harden, despite scoring a crucial three-pointer, fails to prevent the Grizzlies from responding with a 5-0 run. This setback raises questions about the decision to include Harden in those critical moments of the game. Yes, common sense seems to scream at us to take him out and leave Russell in. 
Meanwhile, on another team, the one James previously played for, we have witnessed the improvement of one of his teammates. Tyrus Maxey's performance stands out as one of the most notable aspects since James Harden joined the Clippers. Harden, traded from the Sixers, has increased Maxey's responsibilities, and he's responded brilliantly, recording a minimum of 10 assists in three of the last four games. Additionally, Maxey leads the league in distance covered and ranks among the top 15 scorers in the NBA, surpassing prominent players like LeBron James and Anthony Davis. With this brief analysis of the game, we can clearly see the direction the Clippers should take. Bench James, bring in Russell for a better dynamic, let Paul remain the leader, and allow him to take more prominence. With this restructuring, we might have a chance to witness a comeback. What are your thoughts on all this? Let us know in the comments.